Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Uh, got a bit, another beer here that uh, Will has sent me down. Uh, this is, and I'm probably going to butcher this up, he even sent me an email and told me how to pronounce this name. Uh, Weingeist. Uh, I think that's correct. I'm not sure. I wouldn't swear to it. Uh, but uh, the, uh, the R is silent from uh, basically what he said. The, the Rhine, uh, the, the R-H-I-N-E is like wine, and the Geist is like German for ghosts or something like that. So I told him I'd probably still screw it up, and he laughed. So uh, This is their Pure Fury, and what it is, guys, it says here on there, uh, Pure Fury Hoppy Pale Ale. And nice colorful can. Got a, it's a black can with white writing and a uh, basically a orangey red and an orange and yellow gold stripe around the center of the can. There got a, a skull in the center of it there, and it comes up to a point. Very unique looking. Uh, the uh, the beer is a 5.7 percent alcohol by volume, 42 IBUs. It says here. And it says it was canned on December 22nd of 2014. So I uh, figured we'd go ahead and get this out of the way. These lighter ABV beers and the IPAs uh, you guys are sending me. Uh, I'm trying to get some of these knocked out. Uh, I hate just to get some of these things pushed back in the back of the fridge. And before I know it, they're two, three, four months old. And they've lost some of their hoppiness. So uh, I'm trying to get some of these uh, pails and, and IPAs. Uh, especially the ones that are... are have no date on them so I uh, try to get these uh, out of the fridge and, and, and I still like to do a stout every couple of days so uh, we're going to try to get as much many of these low ABV beers and IPAs and stuff out of the way here in the next week or two. The, uh, the beer here on the back says what's the meaning of this madness and he turned laughed and roared to the sky two inches and three minutes of pure fury and with his axe held high Thunder cracked, his beard burst into flames, and hops began to rain down from the sky. Well, imagine that. Uh, this is, uh, it doesn't say whether it's a seasonal or not, so I, I don't know how often they brew this beer. The food pairings for the Pale Ale is your typical Pan-Asian cuisine. Cheeses are your earthy Camembert Fontina, uh, your nutty cheeses, Asiago, Colby, Parmesan, Tangy, Brick Adam, and Feta. And the meat for this is poultry, and I'm going to add several other there. Grilled meat, uh, salmon, just everything that the IPAs. I mean, these beers are fairly easy drinking and go just well with just about anything. Just about anything. Anything, guys. So, the guys brought a plain Becker tumbling mug, sign the side down. I'm going to use the, uh, uh, I call it my parish tulip glass, but it's a Sauvin, Sauvin glass, S A U V I N, Sauvin beer glass. And this beer is not recommended for extended cellaring, so let's pop the top on this thing. And that's a 12 ounce can and get it into the glass. I'm about ready for a beer today. How about you? And with that semi-aggressive pour, you see we got a massive head, so it's very well carbonated. Now we got a little over two fingers of head on that pour. I'm glad I didn't pour it down the center. It would have been running over. Over into the light. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom, so it is a fairly carbonated beer. I can see the bulb through it, but it's not perfectly clear. It's got a slight chill haze, it looks like, on it. It's right out of the fridge, around 40 degrees, so let's get a nose on this one. 
And it's got a nice citrusy hop presence there. A little bit of pine. And a grapefruit. Maybe some oranges in there. Very nice smelling beer. Very similar to an IPA. Got a, a lot of hops going on in here. But it shouldn't be very bitter being a pale and 42 IBUs. So let's give it a taste and see what we got, guys. Let's get it on. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Will. Thank you, brother. Very tasty. Very, very tasty. Nice citrusy notes there. A little bit of oranges, maybe some lemon peel in there. Very sessionable, not getting into the alcohol. Very tasty. Very pleasant beer. Very sessionable beer. Like I said, this beer will go just about any food dish. It really, really will. And for the, the people that's uh, not into the IPAs, this has a strong hop presence. And it doesn't have that massive bitterness on the back end uh, to go with it. So uh, maybe uh, if you were trying to get into a, a little more hoppier beer and can't quite handle the IPAs, Maybe a nice hoppy pale would uh, do the trick. Uh, Sierra Nevada makes a good hoppy pale, and Dale's Pale Ale from Oscar Blues is a nice hoppy pale. This seems to be a rather hoppy pale. I don't think it's quite to, to the uh, Dale's Pale Ale hoppiness, uh, but it's, it's still pretty tasty. These guys are out of Cincinnati, Ohio. So, uh, and I think he sent me uh, two different versions of, uh, of their beers. Uh, so, yeah. It's enjoyable beer, so let me take it back and let her get a taste of it, and we'll come back and do the final chug. I'll sip on it for a little bit, but it seems like a rather pleasant beer, definitely above average. Don't know if it's quite to the A scale. Let's let it warm up a hair, and we'll come back and find out. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. I mean, it's a very tasty beer, and it's not outstanding or anything to blow my hair back or my socks off or anything or to write home about, but it's a nice, tasty, hoppy, pale, uh, pale ale. It's uh, very easy drinking. Uh, I'm not getting any of the alcohol. It's not a big alcohol beer. It's only 5 point, it says 5.5 percent, but it's got 5.7 on the can. So it's uh, it's very well made. I mean, it's uh, it's very tasty. I'm just going. I'm gonna leave it at that and do the final chug here. Very sessionable for 5.7 percent. I will say that. Very nice hop presence. Like I said, there are some hoppier pails out there, but it is a nice tasty. I'm glad I got to try this one uh, from Wayne Geist Brewery. Uh, and like I said, they're out of Cincinnati, Ohio. So uh, a lot of a uh, lot of uh, good craft breweries up in that area. Uh, I just had. Uh, Dave sent me some stuff from up in that area, and uh, it was some fairly tasty beers, uh, either brewed there or available there. So, a nice craft beer market up there, if you will. All right, guys. As far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm gonna give this uh, the B plus. This, this is uh, a seven in my scale. So, uh, if I was putting a numeric uh, rating on this, it would probably be 88 or an 89. That's that's where I that's where I would put it at. So, let's see what everybody else thinks. Let's go over to Beer Advocate, Beer Advocate says 87 in their very good range, and I agree, it's a very good beer. And over to Rate Beer, Rate Beer says overall 86 and 88 in the style. So uh, pretty comparative numbers there between me and the other two uh, beer sites there. So uh, B plus for me guys, so if you've had this one from, from them, let me know what you think. This is their Pure Fury, which is a Hoppy Pale Ale. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, come on back tomorrow. We're going to take that walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge. See you then.